Scientists find the switch that stops immune cells from attacking healthy cells. Our immune system is talented at telling the difference between the chemistry of our own body and that of an invading pathogen. When it malfunctions, our body can become host to an intense civil war. Scientists are keen to understand this in more detail and a newly identified switch that deactivates a sensor of foreign DNA may provide important insight. A key part of this discovery made by a team from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne is an enzyme called cyclic GMP-AMP synthase, or CGAS for short. This protein is tasked with identifying infiltrating viruses. It binds to any foreign DNA floating out of place in the cell's gooey cytoplasm and triggers a reaction alerting the body to an invader. We already know that CGAS needs to be tightly regulated to keep it in check, especially once it enters the cell's nucleus. The new study identifies a biological switch that marks the enzyme for deletion in places where no immune response is required. Along with previously defined interactions with nucleosomes, our results provide a complete structural model of the nuclear regulation of CGAS, write the researchers in their published paper. Scientists have established that as cells divide to grow, the nucleus, the nuclear envelope dissolves, giving CGAS easy access to the DNA bundle within, and there it binds to DNA packaging units called nucleosomes and is covered by a protein called BAF, waiting for when it might be needed. In the study, via the detailed analysis of cells grown in the lab, the team identified a protein complex named CRL5SPSB3, the last acronym we promise, and it adds a chemical called ubiquitin to CGAS to mark it as a disposable. And this is the key switch that kills off CGAS when it's not needed, when there's no threat from foreign DNA, and essentially stops the enzyme from attacking healthy cells by gently ushering it out of the picture as the cell grows old. Part of the signal that controls the immune system response is called the interferon or IFN pathway, and the study shows how both CGAS and CRL5 SPSB3, which are responsible for flicking the switch one way or the other, are involved in IFN. These results demonstrate that nuclear CGAS levels affect the cellular IFN tone and reveal a role for CRL5 SPSB3 in cell intrinsic immunity, write the researchers. Now, autoimmune disorders, such as type 1 diabetes and inflammatory bowel disease, happen when immune system controls don't function as they should. The new research highlights one of these controls as worth studying further. Now that we know about more about how CGAS works, we might be able to develop effective ways of ensuring it's always well behaved. Our research defines protein degradation as a determ determinant of CGAS regulation in the nucleus and provides structural insights into the element of CGAS that is amenable to therapeutic exploitation, write the researchers. And the research has been published in Nature magazine. This is by Science Alert by David Neald. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.